Ever wish you could lower your truck down for that custom low rider look? Or raise it up for more clearance on them bumpy roads? Well, wish no more. Introducing new air suspension controllers for ATS and ETS2 from Eurogaming. These are available with short switches, long switches, or custom chrome extensions. Let's get you set up. All right, setup of the air suspension control box is very, very simple. It's gonna come over here to the bottom to the gear icon for your options. You're gonna go over to controls. And at the top on the next available slot that you have, you're gonna choose generic USB joystick, which is the controller uh, for the air suspension. You go down to keys and buttons and you're gonna scroll down until you see the front suspension up down, rear suspension up, down, and reset. So these are the ones that are gonna get attached to this controller. So you're gonna click on the secondary column, front suspension up, and on the left switch, you're gonna press that up. And then you'll press front suspension down. On the left switch, press down. Rear suspension up. Press that right switch up. Rear suspension down. Press that right switch down. And then suspension reset. Press the reset button. And now this should be good to go. Let's head into the game. We've got our truck here. Let's press that reset button to get things to where it should be. Everything's good. All right, now we can go down on the front, down on the back, all the way up in the front, all the way up in the back. And then if we press our reset button, it's going to go back to the default height. And that's right in the middle of all the way up and all the way down. This truck has custom fenders that make it go even lower uh, looking. It kind of tucks the tire in it, but if you're looking for that low kind of sporty look, or if you're looking to put some big tires and you want to go all the way up, whichever way you decide to use it, the system will let you do it. Or if you just want stock, you just press the reset button and you can make your adjustments on the fly. So by default, you can have your air suspension set all the way up, all the way down, anywhere in between. And once you reach 30 miles an hour, it'll automatically reset it to the default height right there. And now it doesn't give you the chance to make it go higher or lower if you're above 30. It only gives you the choice to do that once you go down below 30 miles an hour. You can go up or down, but the second you get up over 30, it'll reset it. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Just a quick change in the config file. All right, we're going to start off by going here into Documents. Then you're going to click on American Truck Simulator. It's going to open up a bunch of files. You're going to scroll all the way down until you find config. It may be config.cfg or it may just show up as config. Right click on that and you're going to choose, I'm sorry, click on it once, highlight, highlight it, right click on it, and you're going to choose open with, you're going to choose notepad, click OK. Now this is the config file and to find the file we're looking for, we're going to hit Control F, and then we're going to type in the word suspension here, just like I have there. Click Find Next. Here we are right down here. We can close this box out. Okay, now here, this one, we're looking at this line right here. Okay, this number one, we need to change that to a zero. So go ahead and take that out. Put a zero there. We'll go back up here to File, over here to Save. Now we can close this out. And what that's going to do is that's going to bypass the automatic reset that it does to the suspension at 30 miles an hour, allowing you to stay at whatever settings you have set your truck to for height. And now after we made those config changes, we have the truck aired out all the way down. We're over 30 miles an hour. No problems. It stays. Plus we can make changes above 30 as well now, and it'll stay there. Under 30, over 30, doesn't matter anymore. 
Reset that back to stock height. Here you're good to go. To get your own air suspension controller for ATS or ETS2, head on over to www.eurocrafts.com.